Hey, hello, and welcome to the second of the Just About Now standing tours. Yeah, that was a bit of a mouthful, so <laughs> I'm going to find a shorter version next time around. Anyway, we're here at uh, Pier 14, so this is my favorite hangout, or, yeah, it is my favorite hangout. And it's grey and rather quiet, so you see the, um, uh, we see a couple of the ferries coming in. Uh, I have nothing in particular to say, uh, <laughs> so why are you standing here? Yeah, what I mean is I don't have this special theme, because I was thinking about um, how do you, you know, what am I meant to do with this anyway, and uh, with the standing tours, because, because I want to do them, but I have to make them sensible, and I thought, okay, what do I usually do? If, supposing you weren't here or there, what would I do? And what happens is I, I sort of stand in places and I look at things and then things come to mind. Now, when I'm alone <laughs> without a microphone, this happens just quite naturally, but suddenly with the pressure of um, the video and the microphone, things may go wrong. Uh, that is, I may have a brain freeze. So the idea is, um, let's see, for example, now we're looking, you can see those bushes over there, straight ahead. Um, I don't know, I mean, what, normally I'd sort of, I think I'd, I can say, during the height of the COVID shutdown, just around the corner, so slightly to the right, you see a little hut, and beyond there was a red heart, uh, illuminated heart. It seemed to be also an inflatable uh, object. So you had a heart there, and it, at night, that heart, it was there red, and you'd get this red glow on the leaves. In the beginning, there were not so many leaves because it was early spring or late winter, whatever, and so the trees are quite bare. But slowly, you'd get uh, an increasing red glow, so that was something that happened. But on a normal day, I'd probably look at it, and I don't know, I'd see... Um, I don't know how well you can see <laughs> what I see, but there's this little brown hut right in the middle of that clump of trees. There's this little brown hut. And so something like, oh, yeah, what kind of adventure could uh, be created from there? And I have this character, James Bondios, who <laughs> basically he just saves me. When I have nothing to say, I just throw in James Bondios. So in this case, you know, he'd be there eating spaghetti. Why spaghetti? I do not know, but that's the first thing that came to mind. So James Bondios is in that little hut um, eating spaghetti, and then you see the sort of tanker thingy which is approaching. There'd be a tanker coming, but it would look like a tanker from the outside. However, as you can imagine in a film starring James Bondios, there would definitely, definitely be a very wicked, uh, nefarious character on the inside of that boat. Could be a she, could be a he, I have no idea. But that boat would be filled with all kinds of gadgets. So as it came into range of this little hut where James Bondios is eating some very, very delicious spaghetti, something would happen. Maybe the boat would cast this giant net, catch that little hut and drag it with James Bondios inside. So then you'd have this whole matter of how would James Bondios escape? But we're not going to get into that right now. Uh, we're just going to move slightly, whoops, that way. You see those two ferries there? Well, this is like a twin thing. It's, you see the two ferries and sort of in the middle of them, if you go up, you'll see these two towers. They're sort of gold colored. Uh, they're beyond the trees. And then to the left of that, you have the twin outlets, exhaust outlets of the tunnel that goes under the water. So you do have a, a coincidental twin situation there. That's something you get. <laughs> it's free of charge. Uh, my laughter is because I'm thinking, if I were a tour guide and I had people, they'd just be saying, look, this guy's nuts. What's he talking about? Twin this, twin that. Tell us something. Okay, I'll tell you. Um, you see that red boy? I think it's called a boy. I don't know why they're called boys. <laughs> Um, uh, yeah, no, I'm not going to make the joke that was in my head. It was very, it's very foolish. Anyway, you see that red boy? Um, that has been, uh, it is a favorite meeting spot for seagulls. So they don't, I haven't worked out their schedule, but a number of times I've seen a rather large gathering of seagulls on the red boy that you see there. So the one slightly to the right of Adam Tower. And... Um, yeah, I don't know what the girls were talking about. I talked to a girl on this side, uh, but it wouldn't tell me. 
they're quite secretive in that way. So, of course, Adam Tower, all I can tell you is, uh, well, they're not anymore, but the swings were going a couple of days ago um, when everything was open. Uh, talking about things being open, the Eye Museum you see in front of you was also open. But uh, I noticed this weird thing. Uh, you had all these cafes that had been opened up, and there was this sort of kind of cheer, hey, we're open for business. But some of them were really forlorn. They were just empty. You just had all these chairs waiting and waiting for people who did not come. And then um, you had, let's see, what else uh, did I notice? Oh, yes, there are certain places which are not open. And you wonder, are they not open because they're waiting or are they not open because they didn't survive the situation? And so the echo of COVID-19 is it hasn't even started. Um, there are all these things you see. Anyway, um, I'm uh, sorry to digress. It's a sort of... This is also a podcast, so it's, uh, <laughs> I don't know what to call it. It's a thing. There's a video bit and there's a sound bit, and you can either listen to the sound or you can watch the video and hear the sound, or you can kill the sound and simply watch the video. Anyway, hey, by the way, there's that tanker, that nefarious tanker that looks so innocent, but we now know that deep inside its hull is some um, laboratory filled with uh, wicked, wicked gadgets. Then, let's see, you have this bit um, next to the eye. Let me try and turn around very gently. Uh, next to the eye, to the left, you see this block of flats or this group of uh, apartment buildings. And I don't know if you live... You know when you live in a city, you sort of get to know the flavour of the city. And, OK, now they're very much Amsterdam, but when they first came there, I remember walking by and wondering, where was I? It, 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 um, my partner said... It's, it feels very Italian. That's the white one on the left. Uh, and then slightly further to, to the left, you have this big Shell office, which is... <laughs> I don't know if I'd want to live next to Shell's office, even if I have a spectacular view. But that is just my opinion. And anyway, I can't uh, live there, so whatever. OK, let's go um, way in the distance. You see NDSM. That's the... Uh, you can see the crane. You see the sort of skyscrapers. Well, not really skyscrapers, but tall buildings um, rising up. And they are uh, part of a new development. So before long, the whole of... Um, basically everywhere between what you're seeing now and the bit that I'm trying to show you there... Uh, next to the eye, all of that's going to be filled up with apartments and towers and everything. So the city will change. Uh, I wonder how it will feel when that happens. Um, and very slowly, I mean, I'm just coming around. There's nothing. Here's the... That's the uh, Ministry of Justice. So uh, um, I don't think you want to deal with them unless you actually work there. But <laughs> otherwise, you try and avoid having long conversations uh, with them. <laughs> Uh, then you just have some buildings, and I don't really care very much for those buildings, uh, in the sense that, yeah, they're just buildings, they're not... Um, I can tell you the uh, the one called the Rauter House, that's the sort of beigey, sort of one, sort of stripy one in the middle. That, I can't remember what it was, but for quite a while they were doing something, and suddenly it was this, and so that was at least a nice conversion of an older building into something fresh. There's that, and now we spin around very quietly, and you're seeing, um, this is a bridge. Sometimes I talk about this bridge. This is the bridge where I see skateboarders go down. Um, I think I once mentioned the family kid on the back of a bicycle and the dad on the skateboard. And uh, so it was going down that bridge, and so we slowly turn around, and uh, I think we can end uh, more or less on Central Station because it's, uh, you can look at the buses coming and going. Um, there's not much action. Usually, I mean, what is today? <laughs> I, can't, I can't remember what today is. Uh, today is. Oh, Thursday, yes. Usually on the Thursday at this time, you'd have much more uh, stuff going on. But it is what it is, so enjoy Central Station. And, um, yeah, I'll see you next time. I don't know when I'll do the next uh, standing talk. But, uh, as usual, I will leave the coordinates so you can stand at this very spot and enjoy it for yourself. Otherwise, enjoy this. Okay, bye.